Good morning, folks. This is Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church again, here to uh, lead us in morning devotions from Seeking God's Face by Philip Reinders. And here is the invitation again for this week um, and this day, the 30, 37th day of Lent. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Just take a moment, and in your mind's eye, look at Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Our Bible song throughout this week, this holy week, is Psalm 22 verses 1 to 8 and the words of verse 1 are so familiar because these are the words that Jesus cried out on the cross my God my God why have you forsaken me why are you so far from saving me so far from the words of my groaning my God I cry out day by day but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the praise of Israel. In you our ancestors put their trust. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried to you and were saved. In you they trusted and were not disappointed. I am a worm not a human being. I am scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Our Bible reading, our Bible reading comes from Luke 22, verses 54 to 65, and follows on from where we left off yesterday in the story of the last day of Jesus' life. Then, seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance. And when some there had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. But he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little later someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. Man, I am not. Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you are talking about. Just as he was speaking, the rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. The men who were guarding Jesus began mocking and beating him. They blindfolded him and demanded, Prophesy, who hit you? And they said many other insulting things to him. For me today, what stood out was part of the Bible song, this song that Jesus quotes, and a little bit later on in that psalm, he says, but I am a worm, not a human being. I am scorned by everyone, despised by the people. 
And the psalmist shares about how people walk past him, hurling insults at him and saying, he trusts in the Lord, let the Lord rescue him. And that was so much what Jesus experienced on the cross for me. And if that does indeed also reflect some of what he was feeling, and if I can see myself in Peter, I imagine myself being Peter and realizing that just when when the friend I love the most, just when that friend needs me the most, and is at the lowest point in his life, then I am rejecting him. That's a huge part of the biblical story. Not seeing other people behaving badly and looking down upon them, but seeing them behave badly and seeing ourselves in them. Recognizing that this week, this holy week, was necessary because of me. Let us pray. God, in Peter's betrayal, I see my own. In blindness of soul and hardness of heart, I turn my back on you, full of pride and fear. One glance from your bloodied face, and I see my utter failure. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Remember, in this solemn moment, that it is true that Jesus died for us because of our utter failure, not only in our denial of him, but in our sinfulness, in our whole lives. But also remember, that it is precisely because our God is a God of mercy and he desires nothing more than to have mercy on us that he sent Jesus his son. Join me in the doxology. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow.